Supporting residents to choose what they would like to drink can encourage them to drink more as they receive drinks that meet their preferences. Supporting resident choices is very important for us. Um, there is a risk in nursing homes of people becoming institutionalised and just being served the same, the same drinks. The people with who we work are living with, with dementia and bit by bit they are losing capacity to make um, decisions for themselves and their health and their finances, um, where they live, what medication they take, where they receive treatments. And I believe that despite losing the ability to make all these choices, there are some choices that they can retain with time. Um, even until the very later stages, such as what they would like to drink. Our residents are often not able to verbalise um, what they feel like. They're often not able to recognise what they would like also to, to drink. So having a, a drinks menu with uh, pictures on it is a very, very useful tool. It is important to have all the drinks which are on your drinks menu available for staff to offer to residents. Although some residents will be able to use a drinks menu and request drinks, others will need support to choose their drink. Some residents may take longer to choose from the menu. If a resident is unable to make a choice, you will need to make one for them within their best interests. Remember to keep allowing them the opportunity to make a choice as capacity can vary throughout the day or from day to day. Why it's important for my mother is she's got severe dementia, it's at the final stages and she can't actually lift a glass, you have to feed her so um, it's key to her keeping alive and keeping alert. If she doesn't get enough water she uh, falls asleep and gradually drifts off. So drinks my mother would like to have, um, so we sort of learnt by experience when she moved here she was given orange juice which was too acid for her and her advanced stage of dementia but we've discovered that she really likes apple juice. She's very keen on water which tells you something she really needs it she never used to drink water. Um, and tea. Uh, tea is sometimes she likes it and sometimes not, it depends who's made it for her. It's important that uh, my mother's given choice because what she likes is obviously different from other residents and um, from experience uh, in the last couple of months we've discovered that perhaps her tastes have changed. Residents' uh, likes and dislikes change all the time as they do with, with us. Um, they change in the same day at several times. In the morning we want certain types of drinks, in the afternoon different types of drinks. At the weekend we have different types of drinks. But we do need to review um, people's needs and preferences all the time and even if we believe we know these preferences we still need to ask every time and give as much choice as possible.